Okay, so I decided I needed another pillow to kind of go with the flow on the couch. However, adding a pillow to this area was getting on my nerves. It wasn't working right. The edges were coming off. So I used one of those one more slot please things that you can easily get from modthesims.com. And I placed the pillow on it exactly how I wanted and just heightened and lowered it however I needed it and I pulled the pink from one of the pinks in the pattern and just darkened it and I mean this pillow is a really nice pillow too it even the maker even has like the textures and folds makes it look really nice so next I needed to find a coffee table. Um, that one looked really nice, but I decided to keep looking. I mean, with the space, with the TV stand and the table, it would just make it too blocky, too crowded. So I just kept looking, and then I fell in love with this. I loved it. So I decided to take out that white bulky TV stand and gosh it made the space so much better. Uh, it was a tad dark so I made room for a light and let's see which light we're going to use. Cool. Uh, the candlestick, huge, no thank you. I would like that little. If anyone knows where a little one is, I would totally get it. Um, let's see. This one was nice, but to me it didn't it didn't go with the couch. So here is this one. Um, let's try it in gray, maybe. Maybe that'll make it look nicer. Oh, first let's do this. Let's make this white to pull out the white from the sofa so it can brighten the space and doesn't look dark. And then there's some weird top on this table. Alright, let's try the light this time. Let's make this gray. kind of blue. I might change that later. Alright, let's see. Okay, so now we need to find a rug. Now we don't want a rug that overpowers the entire room because we want the attention to be on the sofa. So I'm just going to quickly go through some rugs and see what we can find. There we go. So now I want to change the floor to work with the furniture that I have. Um, what I usually do is I go to the carpet, choose the white, and then choose a pattern. And it's just so much easier than dealing with all the wood. And this one I really loved. It was my top choice, but I thought mine as well. Take a look. See if anything works better. I mean, it really lightened the space. But, I don't know, I wanted to kind of have a better connection between the pastel colors and the wood. So, choosing which one took me a minute, but soon I found the one I liked. There we go. And then I just added it to the rest of the house while I was at it. So, you can keep things similar, the same. I mean, it makes it so much better when 
you have a space that matches the rest of your house and just flows. Changing the floors to different floors just gives me a headache, really. Like, you don't need so many different ones unless you're, like, using in the bathroom. But, so then I went back. Let's see if we can find a nicer table. Mm, I really like this one, but... Let's keep trying. So after a while I searched the chair section and found this stool, which sort of looks like an ottoman, but I thought, well, let's try this and see if it grows on me. And so then I decided to find a little decoration to go on it. And that's what it looks like after. But now, time to find something for these corners. I don't like bare corners. It makes a room just look incomplete to me. So, trying different plants is really what makes the room feel more lived in to me. I mean, plants are amazing, like I said before, but they're really good on distracting you from the emptiness of the room and I really don't like to use photographs when I have so many windows I mean I don't want to be like window window photograph and it just it kind of closes into me even though the windows are open it just that would be too much so I decided to find some nice decoration that I could use in the corner that wouldn't make it look so busy but still looked lived in. And so, I mean, <laughs> anyone want some carrots? No, but, and here we go. I can't stand how easily the leaves go outside the walls. But really, if you, if you like the plant, just make it work. <laughs> Let's go to Project One Way. No. Um... But see, it looks perfect in that corner. And so for this corner, I mean, I didn't want a chair. I didn't need a chair. It just, it would be too much. A chair. So I was thinking maybe something like, ooh, maybe a, maybe a, oh gosh, I don't even know. Mm, ooh, a bookcase. Let's do a bookcase. Now, finding the right one is what is the hardest thing to do. Oh, I'm making this video so long. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but I have to walk through these steps because this is literally what I do. It takes me an hour to decorate just half a room. So, bear with me, please. Um, this one looks nice being EA. So, I was thinking let's try it out, but... It was just too bulky. Bulky things are not my friend. But this one... Yeah, and then I match it. Definitely keep matching things. I can't stand when I see so many, like, five different wood patterns in the same room. It just doesn't flow. Next, I just got another OMSP, and tried to find a plant to put on the top of the bookshelf. I mean, it makes it look like it's actually being used for something besides a bookshelf. I mean, it's empty space that can be used to make the room look nicer, come together. It gives it that cozy look. So, to use the OMSP, all you have to do is control shift right click and then the options come up and you just choose however you think the height is. It's really easy. I usually choose the 50 for like big leaps. Take all day. Okay. Almost. There we go. Then we'll just... 
top to this, um, I changed the bottom of the plant to a gray to kind of pull it into the couch. And then it was time to change the wallpaper. Um, I don't like how there's just, on some wallpaper, weird stripes. The best, I think, is the crown moldy one. So I went for that. And the color was so close. It was a little tad too much green. So I'm just going to slightly change it. Oh, I love it. I already love it. All right. And so here is the finished result. Alright, and that is it. I hope you enjoyed this super long video. Um, this is just the living room, and the next video I post will be the kitchen, dining, bathroom area. Also, I will be doing better quality videos. The next one, however, has already been recorded, so it'll be the same quality. I hope it wasn't too bad of a visual. Um, but if you can like this video, I'd be very happy. <laughs> um, and also just let me know of any styles of decorating that you want to learn. Um, I'm also going to be posting some, some building videos, um, decorating of course, sim fashion, I mean, anything sims I'll probably be posting. So please subscribe, please like this video, and I can't wait to talk to you guys again. Um, enjoy!